this video, we want to find the equilibrium points of a system. The equilibrium points analysis is an important step in understanding the behavior of a system. In this example, we assume we have a differential equation in this form and want to find the equilibrium points. We know that an equilibrium point of a system represents a stationary condition for the dynamics. So we say that a state x is an equilibrium point for a dynamical system if dx dt or x dot equals zero. In this example, x is a two-dimensional vector, so both x1 dot and x2 dot should be zero. So we set the derivatives x1 dot and x2 dot to zero and solve for x1 and x2. Note that we are interested in the values x1 and x2 that simultaneously solve these two equations. To find these values, we can solve either of these two equations for x1 or x2 and then substitute it into the other equation. So let's start with the first equation. We move x1 to the left hand side and then obtain that x1 equals minus x2. Then we go to the second equation. 2x1 equals minus x2 cubed. We now need to substitute the value of x1 or x2 from this equation into this equation. So we can write the second equation into this form. 2 times minus x2 equals minus x2 cubed. And then we move all terms to one side. Minus 2x2 plus x2 cubed equals 0. We then write it into this form. x2 times minus 2 plus x2 squared equals 0. So the product of two terms equals 0. This means that either the first term, which is x2 equals 0, or the second term, which is minus 2 plus x2 squared equals 0, which actually means that x2 squared equals 2, which means that x2 equals the square root of 2, or x2 equals minus square root of 2. So far, we only found values for x2. Now, what about x1? We can either substitute the values that we obtained for x2 into this equation or into this equation. And it doesn't matter which equation we choose. We choose the one that is easier for us. So let's choose the first equation. x1 equals minus x2, and then x3 is 0, x1 is also equal to 0. When x2 equals square root of 2, x1 is equal to minus x2, which is minus the square root of 2. And for the last case, x1 is equal to the square root of 2. Let's try using the second equation and confirm the value we find for x1 is the same as the value we obtained when we use the first equation. So the second equation is 2x1 equals minus x2 cubed. And then 2x1 equals minus minus square root of 2 to the power of 3, which is equal to minus, minus 2 times square root of 2, which is equal to 2 times the square root of 2. So 2x1 equals 2 times the square root of 2. This actually means that x1 equals square root of 2. So you see that the value we obtained for x1 is the same as before. We showed that this dynamical system has three equilibrium points. The first one is x1, x2 equals 0 and 0. The second one is x1 and x2 equals minus square root of 2 and square root of 2. And the third one is square root of 2 and minus square root of 2. In general, a nonlinear dynamical system can have 0, 1, or more equilibrium points. It can even have an infinite number of equilibrium points, as we saw in the pendulum example. 